Morning. How's it going everybody? My name is Eric and I'm the 10th generation Dairyman on YouTube. Welcome to this video. If you haven't seen my channel before, I just make farming videos. We're gonna start milking cows. It's 4.15 in the morning right now. Come on ladies. Hop up, let's go. So got my handy scraper tool. It's got a metal handle with a plastic end on it. Works good for just scraping the beds off. We wanna get all the moisture off the beds. You can see all the milk this cow here was leaking. Full of milk, ready to be milked. And this is just a great place for bacteria to multiply and thrive. So I wanna get that all pulled off. Pull some nice dry bedding back over this. Good luck now, bacteria. I had someone ask, why do we have stall dividers in the pens? Why not just let the cows lay wherever they want? These stalls keep the cows laying straight, keep the rear end right here so that a lot of the manure ends up off the back or you know right at the edge so we can easily clean it. All the bedding in the front is dry, so we always have dry stuff to pull back. We go through three times a day and just scrape the beds off when we go to milk. It saves a lot of bedding and the cows stay clean. It also reduces the size the barn needs to be because you know if you just had an open pen, you gotta make it a lot bigger to make sure they have enough space if they're gonna lay every way they want to. So what cows like to do, we'll get through the whole milking. They get here to the end and then right as they come out of the end of the parlor, gotta distribute. We're getting towards the end of milking. This is all of group four right there in the parlor in the holding area. First side of pen four is being let out now to come back to their group, so I gotta open it up. This is the last cow from pen three. So, group four is right here. All we have to do for this group is switch this gate across. We're done crossing in the middle of the barn. My uncle's gonna be out with feed soon. He's gonna need to drive through here, so we're gonna scrape this manure. These middle gates are pretty handy. So it has a garage door opener up there that used to run, it was an automatic gate. It was, it was being a pain, giving us trouble a lot. So we decided just to take the belt off and now we push it manually and it actually is handier. No maintenance trouble and really isn't too bad at all to open and close. The last group is a special needs pen. Cows that just had calves, different ones that are 
needing a little more attention. Come on, girl. This is a bed pack pen. Can lay wherever they want. I like it. The only downside is it takes quite a bit more bedding to keep them dry. We use more bedding in this pen for about 25 head than we do for all the 160 head out in the freestyle barn. Those cows back there are the pre-fresh cows or the cows that are about to have calves. I got the alley scrape. Now I'm gonna chase these pretty fresh cows up so my dad can put bedding in this pen. Milking is done. I think there's one more thing dad wants me to help with and then we're gonna go have breakfast. Dad was feeding heifers this morning and there's four that need to be bred. So we're gonna sort them out right now before we go in. It wasn't supposed to be raining this morning, I thought. Getting tired of rain. We use artificial insemination, so we'll just get them behind that gate there. Then it's pretty easy once we get them in this pen form. All right, got the four we need. So we're working our way towards winter. We gotta go around and check all the antifreeze and all the machines. Pull some of the coolant fluid up in this thing and it'll tell you by how many balls are floating, how cold the temperature's gonna be before it freezes. It's got three balls floating at the top there, that's negative 10. This one could use a little bit. We're gonna need to close these curtains up as it gets colder. Not yet, but there's two curtains. The one that's supposed to be on the top there, the cables are loose and it dropped down in the middle. So both curtains right now are sitting in the middle. Well, we have a cable that broke we need to fix here. Just shut the gate measure over there to about how much that would be. So that's 16 feet. Now, that's still here. The cable runs from this winch up to that pulley and then over there it attaches to the cables that hold that whole curtain up. And then another seven feet, and then it needs to wrap around the winch stone, probably three feet. So my dad just left for the hardware store. He's gonna get that cable we need, and also some screws for this latch because we lost some screws on here and piece fell off. So we're gonna try and get that fixed as well in the New Holland. I'm gonna go ahead and do my weekly maintenance work. So here's my opinion on the automatic grease gun. It's handy, it's a little less work, but the thing I don't like about it is 
Well, it's kind of loud. I usually like to listen for the grease. I can usually hear it coming through the bearing a little bit. Kind of makes that little sound and you know you're done. So I can't really hear that as well. Plus, um, it's not necessarily faster. It's it uh, it takes more pumps. It goes ying, 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 like 15 times you get enough grease to some of them. Whereas by hand, I could just do like three pumps and then I'd be good or something, maybe four. I'm not trying to complain though, and I'm very thankful for whoever sent me this. It's pretty cool, so. Just had to give my opinion because so many people told me I needed to get one. The little screws on this latch just worked loose. Three of them fell out and then the, this whole thing fell off. But found the right bolts so we got it back together. Just need to tighten them yet. Who is chewing all these sunflower seeds in here? This one roll door here on the end of the special needs pen is giving trouble. Doesn't go up very easy. I guess dad's gonna lift me up there and we're gonna check this out. That's good. I think maybe the belt was loose, but it doesn't feel bad. Yeah, so it looks like the slip clutch. Yeah, the belt's turning. The wheel is just slipping on the slip clutch. So I just need to tighten this nut down a little bit. It's designed as a slip, slip clutch. If something would stop it or whatever, it, it won't break everything. It just slips on the spring. But I'm gonna tighten this nut down a little bit. It'll put some more pressure on here and it'll work. All right, I tightened it, try it. That's all it was. Just that simple. What's that? I was just talking to this. All right. Hey, we're getting some sunlight out here. This is nice. The milkers are getting started now. Today's Friday, so it's bedding day. I'm gonna throw a bag of lime in the shavings and then we'll mix that up and take a scoop out a while. As soon as he comes and gets pen too, then I'll be able to bed up half the barn. Just gotta wait a little bit. Sorry, eating a Tootsie Roll. It's time to mix cow feed now. Just gonna check how much is here, sweep in a little bit. See, the robot's great, but it misses some of this, so gotta get the broom out. So I put the camera down there for a couple hours. We were actually meeting with a guy from a building company. So we're looking into a project that might be happening in the next year, we'll see. I'm not going to go into detail too much because I'm not really sure what's going to happen, but it has to do with the heifers. Uh, this old heifer barn in our place and changing some things up. So it's kind of exciting, but we'll see what happens. I'll keep you guys posted with that one. Thank you. 
See ya.